What's up, guys? Another edition of the Women's Basketball Recap. Jackson Heil here alongside head coach Stephanie Gately. Coach, a pleasure to be with you as always. And you coming off quite a road trip this past Woo! weekend. Yeah. Man, you, you think you're going to Dayton, you end up busing to St. Louis. What was that 48-hour stretch like for you guys? <laughs> you know, it's typical this year has been just, yeah. you know, the unexpected, you know. So we had all done our, our test that morning with, with Allie, our trainer, and then all of a sudden Allie called me back into her room and said, we just got a call from Dayton, you know, that they tested positive. So the game is off. And so then, of course, I call Ed and I don't want another week to go by without playing. And I had gotten a call the week before from, or text from Manhattan and Northeastern looking for games. And I don't typically like to play comp, out of conference games, but I didn't want to go that time. So I had put them together and I said, you know, I, I told each other they were looking for games. So then I reached out to Manhattan and said, listen, we might be open now. And she said, oh, we're supposed to play Northeastern. Let me see. <laughs> So in the meantime of that, I got a text from Ed saying the conference wanted us to go to St. Louis. Oh, jeez. So I'm like, okay, now the kids don't know anything yet. They're in a team meal. They're all ready to leave their team meal to, to get on, to, to get, go back to the rooms for a 2.30 practice at Dayton. I said, oh, guys, hang around. Just got to wait. We're going to have a team meeting. Because I was waiting to hear back from Ed. Because the, the, originally the conference office wanted, to play, wanted us to play on Saturday. I said, Ed, there's no way possible mm -hmm. that we can drive seven hours and get there, like, eight nine tonight and expect us to play tomorrow yeah. afternoon it's, it's not it's not fair to the team that has stayed next you know um so we worked it out to play sunday it wasn't optimal obviously because you got to just change your complete mindset and so did st louis to so their defense they were supposed to play davidson and but we were the ones on a seven hour bus ride so i just told the kids that you know the the, the best victories sometimes are the ones that come with the hardest circumstances so I thought our kids did a great job reacting to it and ended up working out well. Let's talk about that game against St. Louis, the resilience. You guys were down big early, 27-15 with about four minutes left in that first half. And you go on a 15-0 run to close out the half, and then you guys go nuts from three in the second half. How proud were you of that group to become so resilient in that moment, especially after all you guys went through over that those previous days? Well, I told the kids before the game and before every game, the victory started with being able to play the game. You know, mm -hmm. I, I'm so proud of our kids that you know, there's a lot of teams that are on the third and fourth times of shutdown, and our kids have just done such a super job of really taking pride in, in making sure we're in a position to play the games. So uh, I was proud of them for that. So I said, L listen, guys, you know, I was a little annoyed after the first time out because I'm like, we're playing like the team that hasn't played for six <laughs> weeks, you know. Um, but then once we settled down, and that happened again, and I think that's where a lot of growth took place in that game is, it, I wasn't really concerned with our defense, I was concerned with our offense, you know, and we only had given up, I think, 15 points in the first, you know, quarter or whatever it was against a very explosive team. So once we settled down, and then, of course, when you make shots and play good defense, you have a pretty good chance to win. Coach, before we wrap things up, Caitlin Downey, another A-10 player of the week on her. She just continues to put up big numbers, 24 points, 13 rebounds, 5 assists. How impressed have you been with the way she's been able to continually evolve her game now into her junior year? You know, I'm just super proud of her. I, I just feel like she's growing with every game, and her confidence is growing with every game. I think in the beginning of the year, she, you know, especially when you don't have the scrimmages, she was trying to figure out where am I going to get my shots from. But now that our offense has started to unfold and she's gained more confidence, then of course we went to a smaller lineup for a significant amount of time in that game, and that put their five on her, which opens her up a lot because it pulls their five out of the lane, which creates more space for Kendall and Anna to attack the basket. So really proud of Caitlin. I think she's just really coming into her own now. Coach, we appreciate the time as always, and best of luck during this crazy season. Thanks. Go Rams. What's up, guys? Jackson Heil, Caitlin Downey here with you, junior captain. Caitlin, quite a weekend for you guys. <laughs> You're expecting to play Dayton, and instead on Sunday you end up busting down to St. Louis. What were those 48 hours like this past weekend? I think it just sums up what our season is this year. It's a bunch of unpredicted events, and um, our team adjusted very well. Instead of putting our heads down and being saying, why us, we were excited to, like, take on the challenge, new change, and we were ready to take on St. Louis. Especially you, I mean, another A-10 player that we got for you, congratulations. Yeah. You go for 24, 13, and five. How do you feel like your game has evolved to be more balanced in terms of not only just being a scorer, but also being able to facilitate, and obviously, with what you've done with rebounding this year as well? Yeah, I think it was just, I have to be able to contribute in more than one way. Like, I feel like I've had consistency sometimes with shooting, and last year I lacked with rebounding, and I knew that was a focus for myself going into the season, and what way could I contribute in other ways. And so I really take pride in being able to set my teammates up and give them the assist they need, and then also taking care of the boards, because I think that's a big emphasis for our team.
team. You guys are 4-2 and two now in Atlantic 10 play. How would you assess where this team is at right now as we approach the midpoint of conference season? I think we're really starting to connect on the defensive end especially, and then offensively our things are starting to connect. We're trying to limit our turnovers still, <laughs> but um, I think our team is gaining a lot of confidence moving through conference play. I know there's a lot of teams getting shut down right now, and we're taking the proper precautions at all times, so we're really focused and ready to move forward. Caitlin, thanks for the time as always, and best of luck going forward. Thank you.